I got you. I love those cold starts. Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna start probably start a new series. Is it? Uh, I'll say Mustang drive vlogs. I don't know what I'm calling them yet. There you go. Sorry, that was a little sad thing. But I think I'm gonna start this new series of just when I go for a drive, maybe just record and uh, talk about something. But I think today's just gonna be more talking about, I guess, owning a Mustang, owning the V6 Mustang at least, and just like what I think about it how what my old thoughts were before uh, like before I got my license and everything so and actually why I love Mustangs and everything um, so basically I started liking Mustangs when I started watching Transformers weirdly it won't be blah, blah, blah. I know I know it's Camaro it was a Camaro but I looked at I watched the movie I saw the Camaro but then I started looking at Mustangs morally it dry it pushed me toward a Mustang I thought I saw a Mustang I guess, I don't know how, I don't even know how I actually started liking Mustangs, really, like, I thought, me, I, I knew Bobby was, wasn't, wasn't a Mustang, but, it was like, after that, I, I thought I saw a Mustang on the road, I guess, I just started liking those, I just really didn't like Camaros, not that, I'm, I'm not, like, a big person like Camaro, I'm not, a, I like Chevy trucks and everything, but, I don't particularly like Camaros that much, I'm more, I'm more Mustang, but, I was, like, around, around eight years old, so when I'm, well, after I watched um, Transformers, I started getting into cars more. You know, ever since I was five years old, I um, oh, I always worked on cars with my dad and my grandfather. My grandfather owned a mechanic shop, so it was always cars, always in my life. We worked on boats and cars all the time, especially because cars always give us problems, and nothing ever goes easy on them. But so. Ever since then, I've really kind of wanted a Mustang. After a while, I kind of stopped thinking about Mustangs. Um, then eventually, around when I was like 13, maybe 14-ish, 14 eh, 14, 15-ish, I started getting really back into them. Um, when the 15, when the, actually right before, like a year before the, the 15 came out, which actually is what I'm in right now. So my car's a 2015 V6 Mustang. That's what this is right now. You know, the 15 to 17s were the same, basically models, except for the radio difference in 16s to 17s. And a couple of little things, but um, I started looking for a V8 Mustang. I was always against the V6 Mustangs, I never particularly liked them. I always said, Hey, if you get a Mustang, it has to be all, all or nothing, all cylinders, or it's nothing, and it has to be manual, which is automatic. Sadly, I was trying to get a, I was trying to get a manual V6, but it was very hard to find in my, my where I live, and my dad didn't really want to drive out too far to go get a car. I had to stay close, well, I drove about an hour away from this car, an hour and a half. It was up north somewhere. But, um, so, but I was always against it. I was like, had to be manual, had to be V8, and if not, then it's just a car to me. But after, um, let's see, after I got my car, my first car was a 2011 Hyundai Sonata, which I'll put a picture of right now. And then, um, so that, that was my original car, it's my first car I had, which I love that car, that car was amazing. It was a, it got me, it did, it got me ever. I drifted in that thing so much. So uh, there was one point where um, my girlfriend freaking, I was drifting one time, I had eight people in the car. Uh, I think it was like five people in the back seat. And then um, uh, she was on top of her friend's lap in the front seat. In the passenger seat, I thought they both had seatbelts on, but the one had seatbelt on. My girlfriend didn't have her seatbelt on with her, so I went for the really hard drift. Next thing you know, it she goes flying. I caught her, and the next thing I was like this, and then yeah, the whole world went spinning. And all I heard, next thing you know, it uh, yeah, hit a nice big bump, which was a curve, and then yeah, pretty much now almost three my three out of Three out of four of my wheels were flattened. It was bad. It cost. It was a three. It was a three hundred thirty dollar, three hundred some dollar a day. Three hundred sixty maybe actually. I forget how much it cost. But um, around there. I don't know how much it cost. I just know it was a lot, and I just did not want to spend it. But I had to. So um, blah blah. That was about my first car. We did everything in that car. But 
I'll talk about that car later on. Um, when I uh, some things happen, that the car needs some work after a long time. Uh, just and that was also a two 2011 Hyundai Sonata. Just so everyone was wondering, but. And the while, I need struts, I need some other things. There was an incident, which I'll say in another video. Um, it needs some work. It needs about three thousand dollars in work, and that was just I was just buying parts. That's not even just uh, like me putting it all together. It's just part wise. So I, we decided it was just better off getting another car. Which before this, my father got a Mustang, which is his, the silver one that we have. It's like magnetic, I think it's called magnetic or something like that, the color. So, but, um, my dad hated Mustangs from, from the get-go. He did not like them at all. He hated Ford. I think it's called Muskrats and just blah, blah. But I was always, like, just, I was always just loving Mustang. I just kept trying to get one. My first car I wanted to be Mustang, but my other car fell in my hand. Like, I'll talk about it in another video of how that car became mine and everything. But... So I went to a dealership to test ride a, a V8 manual. So I wanted to go do that. I never did test ride the V8 manual because I don't know. How, I know I know how to drive manual, but I'm very low experienced. I can't drive it, but I'm not like expertise at it. So my dad didn't feel that comfortable with it. He never seen me drive manual. I've only drove it by myself and borrowed my uncle's one truck. So never sold my life till yet. Oh, well, I can't say that. Mustang wise. I can never saw in my life before. I drove a Camaro and I hated it. I just didn't like the clutch on it. I think mean, the clutch was bad on it because it just was not gripping it. And yeah, but I never saw a Mustang before in my life, so I'm good. I'm happy about that. But um, so uh, what was I thought? Oh, so we went to the ship. We got we found a four cylinder, which I really I hate those. Like I really don't like them. I like the V6 now. Now a V6 to. V6 to V8 person, but we test rode the v the premium four cylinder. I think it was a 17 or 16, one or the other. I think it was 16 model. I think it was a 16 model. It was really nice. Like I said, if I can find the clip, I'll put it in right here. But um, it was a nice model. It was really nice. But this is where my dad really fell in love with the interior, and when we drove it, how smooth the road, and it, so. That day we almost bought we almost bought that car that day. I'll say we almost bought that one, the four cylinder. But then it was too expensive. It was like I don't know how much it was. I forget. It was just high, too high of a payment for my dad. So um, I I was still on, I still wanted just to go drive a V8. I just wanted to drive a V. I didn't care if it was manual or automatic at this point. So we went to the dealership and another dealership up by my dad's house and we found a V8. I found a V8 one I wanted to drive, which I got to drive, but I wasn't that impressed. I wasn't that impressed. I didn't like, actually, the guy was very boring. I think he knew we were just driving vehicles to drive vehicles. But, um, so, um, yeah, I don't think he really knew. I think he thought, so he didn't really, like, encourage us to hit the pedal. Like, I want to hit the pedal, but I'm not going to do it. The car is not mine. It's not even, it's the dealerships. So, um, but other than that, so I drove that. That was okay. Later on, I found out the manual was like the best way to go with the cars. And, um, but I drove the V8. My dad's like, well, can I drive the V6 over there? And I'm like, he's like, yeah, I guess, yeah, go ahead. So we touched drove that. My dad fell in love with it and sat there for five hours, like always, for every car we ever buy. We sit there for five hours. It's a tradition. Five to eight hours of doing, of negotiating prices. And, um, so, um, yeah. We sat there for five hours about and we did that. And then we got the car and we got the cars in our hand. And it was the most best thing in life. Because then the first the first week of having it, we put exhaust on it, we put um exhaust on it, and then we put what else? Uh, we put uh, a throttle body a throttle body spacer. Which it just looks cool. It just gives it a cool whistle sound. It did give a, a good, it did give better miles per gallon. Like even if my car, I realized it gave it an extra two miles per gallon, which is everything. But after we bought it, I really decided like, well, all right, the V6 I can go with, the V6 or the V8. The V6 is like that nice classic kind of like, if you can't, if you can't have the muscle, then you can have the kind of like pony, but they call the four cylinders ponies now. But you can get, you can get still, you can get the classic look of a car. I feel like it's still classic kind of in a way. I 
guess, in my kind of eyes, in my eyes. So, I decided, alright, I'm following the end of V6. But it didn't turn out that way in the end, because, well, it didn't turn that way when well, I was starting to look for a car, because my dad said, well, here, I'll go half with you to get, to get a Mustang with you, because I feel bad, I have, I have the car you always wanted. But I thought he was going to give me that car for my birthday, but yeah, yeah he didn't, which I, I'm glad I got this car. I love this car. I love the car I have. But, um, he said next year we'll look, we'll start looking at cars, we'll start looking at, looking at them, and we'll see what we can get. I never thought I was going to get a 15 Mustang. I didn't really didn't think I was getting this, this new, but he's like, alright. I'm like, alright, I can live with that. Just say to take, take care of the car you have now. I'm like, alright, I can do that. And a couple of trips later and a couple other things later, but happens. I thought, to be honest, I didn't do too much damage to the car compared to my sister. But, um, so, um, yeah. So, um, year went by. I started, I started looking for Mustangs. Now, I got my Mustang kick. I got my V8 Mustang kick. I really want my manual V8 Mustang. I still do. I really wish it was a manual and it was a eight cylinder, but I, I like this car. I'm, I'm never, I would never sell this car. I would literally store it away. I would just keep it in the garage somewhere when, whenever I get older cars to say it's my first Mustang, blah, blah, but so looking for V8s. I found a lot of good V8s, but they're overpriced. Like, not overpriced. They're actually priced good, but it was just that we can't afford them. We can't afford the prices that they were asking. Come on, dude, hurry up. Oh, no, nope. am I coming? Nope. Okay, we got hit again. the V8 sound but one of the V8s I fell in love with it. I drove a V8 manual I was so happy about it I loved it it was like the best thing I've ever driven I, after I drove that car because I got I it was from like a, it, need, it was a flooded one it was a flooded out one it needed a, it needed power steering I had no power steering it was it sucked it actually no after you drive after you get going you don't tell but when I first when you first trying I didn't know how to drive manual that much so I'm sort of going rrr, rrr. Just trying to get the car moving, just so I can get the freaking thing moving, so I can get the steering uh, wheel to move more easier. So, eventually, so got with it. I just like, you know what? Start driving it. I'm like, you know what? This is gonna be the once and only time for a while now I'm gonna be able to drive this car, but because I'm not gonna be able to get by this car. It's fourteen thousand, which is a really good price now that I look at it. But no matter what, the gas really killed me. This car actually killed me on gas already, as it is. But um. So, um, as it is, so, I was, I'm happy with my decision, but, got in it, just driving, driving, I'm like, you know what, my girlfriend was with me, she was in the passenger seat, and I was like, you know what, this is going to be once and only time, she didn't, this is going to be once and only time, I'm never going to drive this thing. In my head, I'm thinking, I'm going to freaking downshift this thing to second gear, third gear, right here. I think I went to second gear, I think I was in fourth, I was in fifth gear, I think I went to third gear, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly. I was here fourth. I either went to fourth to second or fifth to third, one or the other. And I was like, you know what? This is the only time I'm ever going to have one of these cars. Put my foot in the clutch. Vroom, just wrapped it up. My girlfriend looks at me. What are you doing? I'm like, oh, um. And next time I just hit the freaking gas. I freaking I didn't go full throttle and half throttle. And I think just went whoop, just sucked me, sucked us back. I just, she's like this all in her freaking seat. She doesn't know. She just looked for to grab the old shit handle. But there's no shit handles in these things, weirdly. I don't. I like it, but it was fun. I, I love that car. I really can't wait to get my V8, which is why I hope for this channel. I really want to get V8 for this channel because we'll do so much. I'm thinking about buying a wrecked, a wrecked one and rebuilding it. Maybe a wrecked like se uh, 17 with like premium and everything inside of it, and then just rebuild the like exterior or whatever needs to be done to the exterior. So it'd be a fun project to do on the channel. But um. So after that car, I kind of really wanted V8. I found another one, and it was such a nice car. It was black. This one was a black one. The other one was black too, but this one was a black. This had a premium in it. It had the red scented seats, and I'm not a red person, but this looks so nice. I really wanted it so bad, but I couldn't get it. It was like 20 something thousand. Like, I don't know. We couldn't afford it. Once again, it was super overpriced. But after that, I went to, I went to go get a, we looked, I went to go look at a Camaro, which... 
Oh, that was the worst. That was the most funnest drive, but the worst drive of my life. I was stalling that thing out like no tomorrow. I'm not good when there's people in the car with me, so I'm not used to that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that happens. Uh, it was a bad drive, and it turned me off. I, I, I liked it. I, want, I I really wanted it because it was manual. I, I didn't want it. I didn't, but I didn't like it because I wanted a Mustang. So I almost bought it just because it was manual, which would have been a terrible mistake. And my sister did that. My sister did that mistake a long time ago on her cars, and uh, I didn't want to make her mistake. So I said, "No, nope, we're out of there." I, we almost had. We almost had. The, we almost had a deal going with it. I said, "No, nope. all right." So I, I knew this car was on the web. I saw it. It's been on the web for like two weeks now. I'm like, you know what? Let's let me just go look at it. So me and my girlfriend drove up one day, one of my days off of work, and I fell in love with it. I sat there, I'm like, wow, that's a really nice color. I was never a blue person, but wow, that's really nice. So I got in it and drove off and sat there for five hours again, five to eight hours. Girlfriend hated me the entire time and eventually made a deal. It's like, I don't know what the deal was, but it was like, we put down payment at 5000 and then it was like, I think the car was 17000 16000 I think that was the price of the car. So, it was a good deal. I used to, I used to say it was actually a nice deal. It was afforded, it's like $200 payment, like 260 I think it is, if I'm not mistaken, 270 Um, let's go scoot right there. It was a good, it was a good, and now I'm happy with it. But that's a, that's that story there. I'm almost at the bank. Um, I'll probably end the video here. Um, guys, if you liked the video, also, like I said, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna call this this series yet, but if you guys liked the video, hit the like button, comment, comment down below. Let me know you want to know about the car. Like I said I love this car to death. This is like for now, this is the face of the channel. And like I said, we're also gonna have the we're also gonna have the the, the truck. So let me know what you guys think. Also let me think how you think you like it up here or would you like the GoPro over there for recording? I'll do I'll do two different things. But um so hit the like button, comment down below what you think of everything. Um hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. And you guys have a good day. Peace.